Hey everybody, Dr. Treyford here today to talk to you about nutritional supplementation for brain injury. Now, this is something we get asked an awful lot about and uh, something we do every day with patients. There's the whole gamut of brain injuries from your concussion and post-concussion syndromes to your uh, severe anoxic brain injuries, penetrating head injuries, diffuse axonal injuries, uh, also stroke, encephalitis, uh, aneurysm ruptures, and more. What we're going to do today is talk about one of the most underserved of brain injuries, and that is concussion and post-concussion syndrome, PCS. So uh, we see a lot of this in clinical practice, again, because these things are often overlooked. People are told to wait and see, and uh, oftentimes they can go months and years with persistent symptoms, many of which can be helped through uh, nutrition, proper nutrition and proper nutritional supplementation. Now, I will say the best bet is a good, healthy, whole food diet, rich in healthy fats, moderate protein, and very, very low in refined and processed, uh, if, if not at all, any processed and refined sugars, carbohydrates, uh, basically empty calories. All of our carbohydrates should be coming through leafy green vegetables, some fruits, etc. This is not a, an entire nutrition webinar, but I just want to stress that we should be getting most of our nutrients through our diet, and supplements are just that. They are to supplement your diet. Uh, I will also say that you should speak with your doctor or uh, a doctor versed in functional medicine and nutritional supplementation because these things can help in most cases. So you want to make sure you know you're talking with somebody that can really understand the mechanisms behind different supplements, uh, how they interact with uh, medications and, and many, many more factors. Also too, how they can interpret laboratory diagnostic tests to determine if you're on the right supplements or if you have a need for additional supplements. So back to brain injury. We have concussion and post-concussion syndrome. We have basic support, baseline support that we use. We never do the same thing for each person. Nothing cookie cutter is done. But the fact is most people with concussion and post-concussion syndrome have basic nutritional needs that are not being met. So one of the first things we like to do is, uh, and we use a company called Zymogen for most of our nutritional uh, and neurological brain body health products. We've been with them for over 15 years. We have no financial interest or disclosures with them. Uh, we just really believe and trust with their products and their higher ethical uh, uh, integrity and clinical standards. So that's uh, Zymogen. And uh, we'll talk about at the end how we can order those types of supplements. Uh, we like to start out with something that's been termed a, a medical food. So this is OptiCleanse GHI. And the GHI stands for gastrointestinal hepatic inflammation. So gut, liver, inflammation. Uh, what this does is it really helps promote health in all of these systems. Gastrointestinal system is incredibly important for brain and body health. Everything we take in goes through our gastrointestinal system, gets into our cells, and basically causes everything we do as, as humans. So we need a healthy gastrointestinal system, and many, many have problems with this. Uh, what these medical foods also do is help reduce inflammation, help with blood sugar handling, thyroid function, um, also too to build lean body mass, particularly in the absence of physical activity. Now what happens is we want people to work out and do things to promote uh, good uh, body movement, muscle health, joint health, et cetera. Uh, but the fact is many people with brain injury can't move all that well. And they start to uh, really elevate their body fat and decrease their lean body mass. And they have poor body composition, which is not good for brain and body health and leads to chronic degenerative diseases of all kinds. So what it does is it helps promote lean body mass, decrease body fat, and just keeps uh, people generally healthy when they can't be as healthy as they would like to be. Uh, magnesium is another one. So magnesium, we use something called OptiMag Neuro. Uh, this is a particular form of magnesium called magnesium threonate. Now that's been shown as one of the only to cross the blood brain barrier, obviously important in dealing with brain injury. Most magnesium we take tends to act on the muscles, on the gut, which is well and good, but the fact is we need it to get to the brain for nerve conduction, for cell health, and many, many other factors. So that's magnesium, and most people with brain injury are taking, you just wanna be taking the right kind. Uh, we'll talk dosages on certain things, but really want to get out there, uh, more importantly, what we need to be looking at taking possibly for these injuries, and uh, doses can be talked about with your provider or by calling us, we'll give you the information later. Uh, essential fatty acids, fish oils. Uh, we use a few different types um, through Zymogen and other companies. Uh, this particular uh, MonoPure, 
is a very, very high dosage. Uh, we generally look at two to five or six or 7,000 milligrams per day per individual, depending on what their needs are. Uh, but essential fatty acids are critically important for cellular health, brain health. The brain is made of a lot of fat. We need good, healthy fats for the brain. And it also helps lower inflammation, which is important because we see systemic inflammation, neuroinflammation in people with brain injury. Phosphatidylcholine. Uh, this one is called phospholine. Phosphatidylcholine is a, um, uh, is a substance that helps promote production of acetylcholine in the body. Acetylcholine is one of the most important neurotransmitters that has everything to do with, uh, with brain muscle function, with memory, and so many other things. So we need acetylcholine, particularly for people that are having struggles with memory and other cognitive and executive functions. Curcumin, uh, we talked about the, uh, the medical food, the optic cleanse. Uh, curcumin is a component of that, but also too, we like to do additional, again, to reduce inflammation primarily. Uh, what we wanna do is, this is a pump, we just pump a few times, put it on thin skin in the body, and it gets absorbed into the bloodstream. Um, next is a class of supplements that deals with glutathione production. Glutathione, most have heard of, is the brain's master antioxidant. You know, whether that's true or not, you know, we know it's very important. Uh, we, we know we need massive amounts of this to counteract all of the chemical processes that happen in the body on a daily basis. So free radicals, uh, protection against heavy metals, things like that. It helps protect the cells in our body. Very, very important, particularly when people have had injuries to the brain and their, their cellular health is <clears throat> generally not as good as the next person. So we have topical glutathione, uh, which has paralleled the, uh, the results of intravenous glutathione. Uh, again, pump, put it on thin skin, doing that several times per day. <clears throat> we also have supplements that help boost glutathione. So N-acetylcysteine is one of those, and this is uh, something we pretty much do with everybody that comes through, helping their body produce more of what's needed to counteract the many processes that the, uh, the cells go through in our body every second of every day. Uh, NRF2 activator is another one to help boost glutathione production. Uh, so we have different classes of things. We have the general support, the glutathione support. Now we also have um, stress support. You know, a lot of people that have had brain injury are anxious, panic attacks, hypervigilant. Uh, they're agitated, irritable, very, very common with post-concussion syndrome. So we need to do things to kind of ramp down the immune, uh, ramp down the nervous system. Uh, that is. So what happens is people have sustained fight or flight responses because their adrenal glands are, are not in check. And there's so many reasons behind that we can't get into right now, but we need to control that stress through meditation, exercise, proper sleep, the big three right there, but also two from a nutritional standpoint. We need to get away from pro-inflammatory diets, high in uh, you know, poor saturated fats, high in refined and processed foods, et cetera. So there are also things that can be done nutritionally to support that. If we test somebody's cortisol levels, we have them basically spit into a tube several times a day and we look at these uh, cortisol graphs that should start high in the morning and come down as the day goes on. Well, often people have disruptions in these graphs and they're going up when they should be going down and they're down when they should be up. So we have things that can support that. Uh, Adrenaliv is, a, is a, a basic adrenal support, helps these cortisol responses throughout the day. And then more of an herbal remedy called, called cortisol is really what helps battle these spikes when people have them throughout the day. So when people are at their highest stress levels based on the testing, that's where we intervene with that particular supplement. Uh, also, there's GABA, G-A-B-A, that is the inhibitory neurotransmitter uh, that many have heard of, and something called RelaxMax, which helps boost GABA activity in the brain and the body. Uh, so it basically just helps promote a sense of calm, hence the name RelaxMax. Now, there's another area of um, stress support and, and anxiety support, as well as something that helps with sleep. We don't often like to prescribe sleep-based supplements because what happens is people become dependent on them, just like the medications. So what we wanna do is just use these sparingly, and this is more of a muscle relaxant that has become a very powerful sleep aid for many. It's called Synovix Calm. It's a, um, a combination of valerian, Passion flower hops. Uh, this trifecta here has been shown to really promote significant muscle relaxation, which is incredibly important. People with more severe brain injury, where they have contracted muscles, very tight muscles, and they're 
using things like baclofen and uh, Botox. So in conjunction with, as well as when people start to come off of those medications, uh, these supplements can be very effective for reducing muscle tone and helping them sleep better. Uh, there's also a class of supplements that help boost um, or help improve blood flow. You hear of things like ginkgo and some others. Well, we like to use um, nitric oxide boosters. Nitric oxide is something that really helps with vasodilation, helping blood vessels increase their size. Incredibly important in the head because the brain is very, um, is very blood hungry, if you will. It uses a lot of blood. It needs a lot of blood. It needs a lot of oxygen that's carried by blood. Uh, and oftentimes the blood vessels are not doing what they should be doing because of pressure changes, because of stress responses and injuries and all. So we need to get more blood to the brain. Nitric oxide can help that. And this anginox is a really good way to help that as well. In addition to, again, to exercise, stress management, et cetera. Um, there's other categories we don't have time to get into now. Gut health, um, and I will talk briefly about um, probiotics all kinds of probiotics out there. We like these uh, ProBiomax 350s, uh, very, very high concentrations of a broad spectrum of probiotics. There's also categories of prebiotics. These things help with leaky gut, and if our gut is leaking, our brain is not healthy. Um, leaky gut is very common in people that have had concussion, post-concussion syndrome, so we need to address those issues. And we can look at different diagnostic tests that tell us if, in fact, people are dealing with those problems. But in general, most people could benefit from a probiotic and uh, prebiotics as well. So there's the gut health category. And then finally, there is the immune health category. We will talk about that at another time. Obviously with COVID on the mind, everybody's wanting to know about immune health, but you have things like zinc, vitamin C, and acetylcysteine, and so on. There's many, many things that can be done to boost immune health, but also to the basics again, exercise, stress management, proper sleep, proper nutrition. So eat right, think right, move right, sleep right. Uh, we talk about that all the time. Those are your best, best, uh, defenses against really anything, be it brain injury, immune dysfunction, et cetera. But then we have all of these things here from a supplemental standpoint to add to your, um, your brain and body health if need be. So if you have any questions, call us 828-708-5274. Again, you want to speak with somebody before supplementing. You don't ever want to go in blindly. People are generally taking way too many supplements or simply not enough. So we want to do just enough, but not too much. Uh, we want to base it on diagnostic testing, which can be done quite easily, even from a distance. So again, give us a call, visit us on the web at uh, apexbraincenters.com. Also too, we're on all social media under Apex Brain Centers, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Uh, look forward to talking to you next time and thanks for watching. Take care.